hey y'all welcome to my channel um let's start by saying if you're not a subscriber please subscribe if you are new to the channel welcome if you are an og to the channel hey how you doing but um today's video we are going to make apple slice embeds and um someone asked yesterday to show how i make uh, my apple slices so i'm going to do that today it's going to be a quick little um video and um let me just show you what i did as as far as my apple mug is concerned okay so yesterday's candles project i did well not a project but i did this for my product launch for bubblebabes.com but um yesterday we made an apple pie a la mold candle and at the bottom of the candle, I wanted it to look like, you know, the inside of an apple pie. It's chopped apple slices at the bottom with gel wax in there to give it the filling look. I also wanted to just have like maybe a crust or filling kind of color of the candle. I didn't want this part to be white because I knew that I was going to make ice cream. And then on the inside, we have some apple slices with the apple filling, the, the glazy filling. And um, we have some soft serve ice cream also have some crumble at the top we have some cinnamon it's quite a few elements going on if you are interested in learning how to make this candle please join us at bubble babes university www.bubblebabes b-a-b-e-z university that will be down below and i will also make sure that i have a link please sign up for the email list we will have classes and um, mini classes so that you can learn how to make this candle my main course is how to make frosting so how to frost wax like a pro so that's my main course but i'll have a lot of mini courses as well and making one of these apple pie mugs will be one of those courses so if you're interested please go sign up for the email list so you can be notified when we get everything going and also for your early bird discount i am going to be using peach slices for my apple slices mold um when it's inside of um your you know your vessel or whatever you're using you really cannot tell this is a peach and if the the lines from the inside of the peach bother you you can use the back side of the apple i mean the back side of the peach so don't use the inside part use the outside part but it still does the same thing the scent that i'm going to use today is macintosh apple from indiana candle supply the wax that i am using today is the single pore votive pillar hybrid blend wax um, from candlesandsupplies.com and that is the 6028 replacement wax so that is the wax that I'm going to be using today you don't have to scent this I'm scenting it because it's a bigger um, embed so I want this to be scented so the whole candle can be scented so um, let's melt down some wax okay, so in my candle i left my apple slices white you can do them um a tannish color if you want them to look baked or you can just let it dip into the tan color that you're using for the um candle to let it look baked or you can glaze it with a little tannish um gel wax to give it that glazed um baked apple look we're going to add the fragrance And stir for two minutes and let it harden and then we will um, take them out and if you would like to add the colorant on the outside of the apples I will also show um, how to do that as well we're going to let this cool down and then um, when it's when it's ready to take out we're going to take these out and then we are going to paint them while we're waiting for those to solidify, I'm going to show you the um, things that you will need in order to paint your apples if you want your apple slices to be painted. You need a paintbrush. You can get that from the dollar store. It doesn't need to be a special paintbrush. Um, and you will need a liquid colorant. They look like this. They look like this. So um, you can use red for red apple you can use yellow for golden delicious you can do green for granny smith so it depends on what you um what you need for your project but these are the things you are going to need um like i said i got this from candles and supplies.net it says dot net but it's dot com 
and um this i got from michael's i'm pretty sure i did because i paint bath bombs with this one but you can get them at the dollar store and um after you paint them you do have to give them a couple of days to dry because you do not want your candle dye leaching into your project so it will bleed into your project and you don't want that i mean it's going to because the candle dyes sometimes they bleed the colors bleed into each other but that's over time but you don't want that to happen immediately before you even have a chance to sell your products so you want to make sure that you paint them and you give them a few days to dry and that when you touch them it the color doesn't transfer to your fingers so as you can see these are peaches if this part is going to bother you but like I said when I used it in the mug you cannot even see the texture and the inside of the peach you can use this side so it looks like you cored the apple and it's just a smooth slice on the other side if that's an issue for you it wasn't an issue for me so we're just gonna keep on moving but that if it's a problem for you you can do that just in case you can't find an apple slice mold or you don't have an apple slice mold you have a peach a peach slice mold you can use that uh, I have a broken apple but I could use that as chopped pieces at the bottom of my apple pie candle these gloves are so big All right, so to paint, we're going to, I'm gonna do red. Just gonna add a drop there. And I don't want to have too much because I want it to kind of look like a natural thing. So I'm going to move it around into the bristles. I'm going to move the coloring into the bristles a little bit and then also wipe some of the excess off. But there you go right there. There's your red apple slice. So, um, and make sure that in order to keep the color off your um, embed where you don't want it, make sure that you keep drying your hands off so that you don't have the color on your gloves because it'll transfer. And that's that. So this is how you paint your apple slices. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial. If you make anything with it, please let me know. Let me know how it turns out for you. And again, let this dry for a couple of days and let it be dry to your finger before you apply it to any project. Um, again, follow us on all social media if you would like any. If you would like to take our course and if you would like to take classes um, with candle making and any other projects, please follow us on Bubble Babes University. What else? What else? Like this video. Comment put the bell on for your notifications and um that's it tell all your friends to follow us and we will be back very soon with another video have an amazing day